Hello friends. So in the previous video, we have just started our discussion on the auto transformers. We have derived some <coughs> basic equations associated with the auto transformer. And I told you in the previous video, while finishing the video, I told you that today we will be discussing the apparent power advantage that you get when you use an auto transformer. Okay, so for example, now you are having a <coughs> transformer with two windings here. Okay, and this is the conventional way of connecting it. Right? This is the conventional way of connecting it. And I told you we will take the high voltage winding here and make it the common winding. And we will connect the <coughs> low voltage winding in series with the high voltage winding. So in this case we will be doing an additive polarity here. So that we will get an auto transformer connection. Okay, So we will take this winding here, the high voltage winding. I will just connect it here. So let us make it the auto transformer. So this is the high voltage winding. So this is the dot polarity. Now we are going to connect it in a series additive polarity. That means dot will be connected to the undotted side. Right? So it will be like this. So this will be the dot polarity for the second way. So dot to undotted. So these two windings are connected in series additive polarity. Okay. Then what we did we do? We made this connection like this. And the output we are going to take across here. Okay. So this high voltage winding here, we called it as NC because it is common for the input and output. This low voltage winding we call it as n series because that is in series with the common winding here. Okay, so this voltage we called it as VL because this is the now low voltage side of the auto transformer, and here you will have the addition of these two voltages. So this is the high voltage winding, right? And this current we call it as IL. This current which is coming out we call it as IH, and um, this particular current through the series winding we can call it as IAC. Right, and uh, the winding, the current through this uh, uh, winding, we can call it as IC. Right, so this is the basic uh, thing here. So you can see that in this configuration also, you can see that the current is going through the dotted terminal here, and the current is coming out of the dotted terminal here. So that means this is having the transformer action also, and along with the transformer action, it will have also power transfer due to conduction process. Also, that is why we are going to get this apparent power advantage. We'll see that in a simple derivation now. So if you see this apparent power of this auto transformer, so you are having the input side and the output side. So let's write first the apparent power of the input side. So S in. So S is the symbol for the apparent power and input is shown by this letters in here. So S in will be equal to VL into IL. Nothing fancy here. So this voltage into this current will be the input to the auto transformer. And then output will be equal to VH into IH. Right, VH into IH. Now we have derived this particular equation here, right? We have derived this equation in the previous video. So we'll convert VH in terms of VL and IH in terms of IL, and we'll see what we get here. Okay. So from this particular equation, I can write VH is equal to VL into NSC plus NC divided by NC. Right. So that I'll substitute here. So VH is equal to VL into NSC plus NC divided by and see here right and this ih i will convert in terms of il so ih value will be from this equation ih will be equal to il into nc divided by nsc plus nc if you just remember one equation the current equation will be just the reverse of that so that i will substitute here so this is il into nc divided by nsc plus nc right so this will go this will go this will go and this will go so finally you are ending up with vl into il that means S out is equal to VL into IL and VL into IL is nothing but S input. Okay, just, just like a regular transformer, the apparent power at the input side is equal to the apparent power of the output side. So this we can call together as SIO. Okay, So this is for input and this is for output. So SIO is equal to, uh, in Malayalam IO means uh, when you are getting scared, suddenly you tell it IO. So SIO is equal to... Um, VL into IL. Right? So this is one thing which you can write and also it will be equal to VH into IH. So if you substitute uh, in terms of VH here for VL and IL, you will get it into VH into IH also. So this is one important thing here. Now this, this is for the auto transformer as a whole. Okay. Now these windings also will have their individual uh, ratings. Right. This winding which you have connected, they have their own individual ratings here. Because this is like a transformer, you are connecting it to auto transformer, right? So this is the auto transformer rating we have derived. That will be different from what this winding is capable of individually. So that we can call it as SW. Okay, so that SW will be the voltage across this winding, which is uh, 
this voltage we also called it as vc right so it will be vc into ic okay and uh, if you see this particular uh, equation here i can just write this is vc and this is ic and this is vsc and this is isc okay just i have just made it uh, in this diagram here so this vc into ic will also be equal to for this other winding that will be equal to vsc into isc this is just coming out from the fact that in a transformer in a regular transformer the input side apparent rating is equal to the output side apparent rating so that is how this equation is coming up here so now uh, we will do a little bit of mathematical jugglery here again so we will take this particular equation here so sw is equal to vc into ic right so vc value is equal to vl so vl into so what is ic value now ic if you use a kirchhoff's current uh, rule here you will find that ic is equal to il minus isc very simple so it is il minus isc right it is il minus isc so we'll just do a little bit more simplification so you'll get vl into il minus vl into isc right but this isc value is nothing but equal to the ih value right isc is same as ih value so i can write it as vl into il minus vl into ih right so we'll take it to the next page here so sw is equal to vl into il minus vl into ih right so now you are having uh, the ih term here so let's convert it into terms of il right so that's the correct thing to do here so we'll write this as vl into il minus vl into now ih was is equal to il into nc divided by nc plus nsc right i hope i am not making a mistake here so into il into nc divided by nc plus nsc right so if you just uh, do a little bit of simplification here you will get vl into il into nc plus nsc right i'm just taking the lcm here minus vl into il into nc divided by nc plus nsc so that's what we get from this equation here so sw of the winding is equal to vl into il into nc we'll just open this bracket plus vl into il into nsc minus vl into il into nc divided by nc plus nsc right so this will go and this will go because these are the same terms and there is a subtraction happening here so i can write this sw will be equal to vl into il into nsc divided by nc plus nsc right but we already know this vl into il is nothing but sio that means the rating of the auto transformer so that we can write here so sw is equal to sio into nsc divided by nc plus nsc right so this is one of the most important equations of the auto transformer so sio is equal to sw into nc plus nsc divided by nsc right so this is very very important equation here now you can clearly see this nc plus nsc will be greater than nsc value right because the windings actually are adding up here so clearly because of that this sio will be much higher than the value of sw so this means that if you are just uh, taking a transformer and you are connecting it as an auto transformer the apparent power will be higher for the same transformer okay so whatever apparent power you are getting from the transformer when it is connected in a conventional manner just two windings core separated with each other but if you connect them as an auto transformer you will get this advantage of this particular term here nc plus nsc divided by nsc so that advantage you will get that means that much higher you will get the apparent power okay so to see uh, this properly we have to do a small numerical so this is the numerical here okay so what is given is that a 5000 kva auto transformer connects a 110 kv system to a 138 kv system okay and it has an nc divided by nsc ratio as 110 is to 28 such an auto transformer has a winding rated at what value okay so what they are telling is that they have given the sio value to be equal to 5000 kva right and they are connecting a 110 kv system to a 138 kv system that is not important for us what is important is that they have given nc is to nsc is equal to 110 is to 28 and they are asking what is the winding of the auto transformer rated i have already told you the winding of will have its own rating 
whatever we are seeing in the auto transformer is the output side right the winding will have its own rating so they are asking you to find what is the value of sw so we already derived the equation here that is sw is equal to si0 into uh, sw is equal to si0 into nsc divided by nc plus nsc so this is the equation that we have derived okay so sw here will be equal to 5000 kva 5000 kva multiplied by so we'll just take this term uh, down here so that we can we'll just rewrite it like this so 1 divided by i'll just divide uh, numerator and denominator by nsc so like this you'll get plus 1 right so the mathematically these both equations are same i just divided the uh, numerical and denominator by nsc so that i can bring this term into this problem so there is 5000 kva multiplied by 1 divided by 110 divided by 28 plus 1 Okay, if you calculate this value, you will find that SW value is equal to 1015 kV. Okay, so 1015 kV. That means, originally, for example, these two windings, okay, the two windings were connected as a conventional transformer like this. Okay, they were connected as a conventional transformer. These windings have a rating of 1015 kV. Right, but once you connect it as an auto transformer, the same 1015 kV which was obtained while connecting as a conventional transformer when you connect it as an auto transformer you will get 5000 kva from that okay now we cannot uh, tell that you go and connect every transformer as an auto transformer no that's not the concept i've already told you auto transformer is only used to make minor voltage corrections it cannot be replacing a conventional transformer which is used to step up or step down the voltage to a very high value right so this is one thing so another way of looking uh, this thing is that for example, you want a 5000 kVA conventional transformer. Okay. If you want to make a 5000 kVA uh, conventional transformer, you cannot do with, uh, with these two windings here because these windings are rated only for 1000 kVA. Right. So that time you will have to increase the insulation, increase the conductor size, so many things here. Okay. So <clears throat> for the same rating, the auto transformer can have its own windings at smaller values. Okay, so that means what happens is that for the same rating, the auto transformer is actually in this case five times smaller as compared to the same conventional transformer which has to be made for 5000 kVA. I hope I am clear. I will just write down that point now. <clears throat> the auto transformer has the windings rated, has the windings rated for 1015 kVA. Okay. While a conventional transformer, while a conventional transformer can do, can do the same job. While a, for a while for a conventional while for a conventional transformer to do the same job to do the to do the same job, it requires windings of windings with a rating of five thousand kVA. Which implies the auto transformer can be auto transformer can be in this problem five times smaller, five times smaller than the conventional transformer of the same rate. Again, I'm telling you, an auto transformer will not replace a conventional transformer. It is only for these minor corrections that you use an auto transformer. In fact, uh, the lower voltage winding, that is the NSC. Uh, which you see here sometimes it uh, gets subjected to higher voltage than actually it is rated to therefore in auto transformers actually they are specially made the auto transformers are usually specially made where the insulation for the series winding is considerably higher as compared to this uh, conventional transformer here so that's one point to remember here now before concluding let us do one more small numerical just to understand these concepts a little bit better now this is a simple numerical that we have uh, taken from the book chapman so what he is telling is that a 100 VA 120 bar 12 volt transformer is to be connected as an auto transformer in a step up configuration and a primary voltage of 120 volt will be applied and what is the secondary voltage maximum VA rating and the rating advantage of the transformer. Okay, so basically what uh, the author is trying to tell here is that you are having a transformer like this right. So you are having a transformer. So this is 120 volt and this is 12 volt. So this is the rating of the transformer. We are going to connect it as an auto transformer. Let's do that first. So I am connecting it as an auto transformer now. Right. So 
have connected it as an auto transformer step up configuration they are telling a primary voltage will be applied is 120 volt okay so what is the secondary voltage now you know that when 120 volt is applied in the other winding by the induction process 12 volt will get induced right i told you the auto transformer will obey the principles of the conventional transformer because the windings are magnetically coupled so this will be 12 volt right and these two are additively coupled so the output secondary voltage clearly it will be 120 plus 12 volt is equal to 132 volt so the first problem the value is 132 volt right next is what is the maximum va rating here okay so the maximum va rating is a very interesting uh, problem what we can do here so the maximum va rating <coughs> so sio so sio here will be equal to this is vh value and this is ih value okay right so it will be vh into ih right so vh into ih vh is already 132 volt sorry which is already 132 volt and we have to find the IH value. Now they ask the rated value, right? So I already told you, just because you are connecting it as an auto transformer, you cannot allow the current to exceed the rated value of the winding. So whatever maximum current that is IH is same as ISE, right? IH is same as ISE. So whatever is the rated current which has to flow through the low voltage winding, that will be the rated current of the auto transformer also at the output side. I'm, I hope I'm clear now. So uh, we'll find the rated current at the out, uh, NSC value. Okay. So here this is NC common winding. So this is 120 volt. So this is NC and this is NSC. 12 volt is NSC. Right. So this is 100 VA. Right. 120 bar 12 volt transformer. Okay. So the current through the rated current for the 12 volt side will be equal to 100 divided by 12 simple calculation right 100 divided by 12 so that will be 8.33 ampere so the current through the 12 volt winding should not exceed this 8.33 ampere okay so this ih value cannot exceed this 8.33 ampere so i can just put that value here so ih will be equal to 8.33 and you can see that i am getting a value of s i0 will be equal to 1100 va so it's clear that the 100 va transformer when connected in the conventional manner, you are getting 100 VA. When you are connecting it as an auto transformer, you can get a rating of 1100 VA. The third is, what is the rating advantage? Okay, The rating advantage means, the rating advantage is nothing but SIO divided by SW. Okay, So this is 1100 divided by 100. Right, 100 VA, right? So if you cancel these two, you are getting 11. So the rating advantage of this auto transformer, when you connect uh, the conventional transformer as an auto transformer, it is 11. Okay. So with this, let us conclude our discussion on auto transformers. In case there is any topic which I miss, I will take it up in a later video. Okay. So after this, we will be starting the parallel operation. I know it's greatly delayed, but still uh, in the next video, we will start with the parallel operation. Maximum two or three videos parallel operation will be there. After that, we will be concluding transformers and uh, Hopefully, we will be starting induction motors very soon. Okay. So, till I see you in the next video, it's me Varun signing off. And please don't forget to please share these videos with your friends because this channel has a number of videos, number of courses like engineering circuit analysis, DC machines, synchronous machine, of course, transformers running now. So, till I see you in the next video, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.